What's up, everybody? How's it going? It's Edwin back again for Strictly Comics. And I'm going to say right now in advance that this is going to be the last time that you guys see me for the 2013 year. That's right. Because Christmas is coming up, then New Year's is coming up, 2014 is coming up. I'm going to do some changes, some rebooting of my channel. Very excited about nothing major, but just some things that I've really been putting on hold and I want to just get to just to kind of make my channel just a little bit better. Uh, everybody who's subscribing, I want to thank you so much for subscribing. I'm going to go ahead and wish you guys a very Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. I hope that you achieve all of your goals. I hope that you reach and achieve your visions that you're striving to, to get to. Um, I just, you know, hope for prosperity in every area of people's lives, but most, most importantly, uh, the spiritual area of everybody's life. Um, it's been a great year. I'm new to this whole YouTube thing, and, 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 and I thank God that, you know, this little hobby has kind of grown a little bit for me, and, and I have the subscribers and the views that I have, and, and I'm, just, I'm just so thankful for that because it just... I can't say it enough. It just it just really makes you enjoy even more what you do. So, yeah. But I don't want to ramble. I want to show you guys real quick what I got before my wife comes home because I got some stuff for her. <laughs> so, uh, today is New Comic Book Day Wednesday. And I just came back from the uh, comic book store. Found out some really cool news that they're moving a couple doors down. Which is going to give them a bigger a bigger place, which in my opinion I think they desperately need because it's really become one of those mom and pop shops that's got just clutter everywhere. I mean you're talking like two, three, four, five hundred dollar uh, artwork, uh, uh, comic strips and comic books just laid all over the place, and it's like hmm. Uh, if it was my shop, I wouldn't be doing this because I'd be worried about somebody you know rolling something up or putting it in there. You know, walking out with it, whatever. So, uh, it's going to be kind of cool for him. And I'm happy because uh, the stuff that they have is nowhere near what my previous comic book shop had. So, but here's the comic books. And I picked up some stuff for Christmas. And... I got some some stuff for this week's new comic book week. No particular order. I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up. Uh, the highly anticipated Harley Quinn number one, which everybody and their mother is going to be grabbing. I picked up uh, Saga number seventeen because my wife really enjoys this. I'm still not yet ready to read Saga, but I hear so many good things about it. And if she likes it, then it must be good because she can be pretty hard to entertain sometimes. Uh, I got all new X-Men number 20. Pretty nice cover. I got Scarlet Spider number 25. I'm really upset because this is the last issue. Why? Why don't you guys buy Scarlet Spider-Man? Okay, I admit it. The book wasn't that great, but it was above average in my opinion. There were a lot of good times when I felt like they had really good artwork, especially when Wolverine came around. And then he had that, that, that invisible cloaking suit. I really liked it. Um, but I can understand why. But at the same time, if they're doing it because they want to jack every book to $3.99, then there's a problem with that. So that's the last issue, and I will be reading that very soon. Uh, next, Superior Spider-Man number 24. Uh, this has been like one of the very first books that I bust open and read right when I pick them up. Scarlet Spider's been very good so far. Venom is one of my favorite characters. Can't wait to see what, what's going to be going on in here. So really looking forward to reading this one. Next, you guys, I got Transformers Robots in Disguise Dark Cybertron number five. Um, I love this cover. I love the Galvatron, and, and I forgot who this guy is. 
Um, I remember Galvatron from Transformers, the movie from way back in like 86 or 87. Um, I love this cover though. Dark Cybertron has been kind of... Eh, I'm only three issues in, but we'll see. Next, you guys, I picked up TMNT number 29. Got the variant cover B, but I'm really looking forward to this as well because as we know, and I'll probably go ahead and just do a review on this because I know that a lot of people enjoy the reviews on TMNT. Um, Leo is back. He's no longer the Shredder's Chunin. So it's going to be interesting to see how he copes and how he adapts again with the family, especially after being brainwashed. Next, I picked up Pandora Trinity, or Trinity of Sin Pandora number six. I wasn't going to pick this up. I was actually going to stop reading this because as I told you guys, I'm really trying to cut back on modern comics, but I was kind of flipping through it and I saw, um, I saw the character, what's his name? If, if you guys, maybe this is a spoiler. So if you don't want any spoilers, you better go ahead and just stop right now. This is probably going to be the only spoiler. But I saw in the page, as I was flipping through it, this guy, he says, he says, I am Blight. This, this dark serpent, shadowy looking thing right there. And the reason why I grabbed it was because I know that they're coming out with Forever, Forever Evil Blight, which is going to be a continuation, I guess, of Forever Evil but maybe this is the first appearance of the character Blight. So that's kind of why I picked it up. Um, plus it wasn't $3.99 anymore. It was $2.99. Um, I picked up Uncanny Avengers number 15. Um, my wife is going away for in between the 27th and the 2nd for her sister's wedding. So I got a lot of comic book reading. I'm going to really get caught up on Uncanny Avengers because I'm pretty. And I picked up, oh, they had these as a freebie, which was really, really cool. I was extremely happy to get this, not because it was free, but because it's a calendar. That's right, you guys. And everybody knows that when you go to the mall or Walmart, all the calendars are like freaking 15, 20 bucks. That's just too much for a calendar. So... I usually wait for a month or two after they go on sale and pick up one for like a 99 cents or a buck, a uh, buck 99. So, but they had these for free, so I won't need a calendar this year because I got one. So I was really happy about this. Um, some of them are really cool. I like this one with Wolverine and Spider-Man, Superior Spider-Man. So pick that up. Um, some things I picked up today. I picked up some trades. Now, I normally don't pick up trades. As a matter of fact, I'm very much against it um, because trades never accrue any kind of value. And not only that, but sometimes the trades are more expensive than if you bought the books individually, which makes no sense to me. If anything, it should be cheaper because they trades will very rarely, usually 99.9% .9 of uh, of the time will never gain any kind of value whatsoever. And, and that's, I know that's not why you're supposed to buy or collect comic books, but to me it has to play a factor because if you're, if comic books went up to $20 a piece, you would have a limit. You would stop buying as many as you, you would, you would have a limit. Okay. Let, I'll just say that. So, um, but my comic book shop, had buy two trades, get one free. Didn't really want any trades, but my wife wanted some. And this is what I got. I picked up Saga Volume 1 for her. I asked her, I said, you can go on Comixology and get a digital copy for free. She's like, no, I don't really want a digital copy. I want like an actual hard copy. And then I almost like just like made out with her and just started groping her right there because she said that because I'm so much against digital media. Um, but so when she said that, I was really happy to go and get these 
uh, some trades for her, and I got Saga Volume 1 for my beautiful, lovely wife. Next, I got for my wife Saga Volume 2. And the reason why I got these is because she started out with number 13 when Saga came back into play a few months ago. And she really enjoyed it. I'm like, you know what? She's going to like these. So I got these for her. And then as a freebie, because I bought those two, I got this for myself. Thief of Thieves Trade Volume 1. Um, I have Thief of Thieves number 2 and number 3. And then like number 8 on up. All first printings. But I did not want to spend $60, $70 on a first printing of issue number one. Because I know in 5 to 10 years, it's, it, you'll be lucky to sell it for 20 bucks Or 10 bucks. So um, I went ahead and, and, and picked this up. Because I want to familiarize myself more. And, and get more knowledge of what's going on with, with Thief of Thieves and these characters. Because when I started reading, I just kind of delved into, like, issue 9 or something. I was like, screw it. I don't need to, like, read all the way up. I'm just going to dive in and just see where this takes me. And so far, it's been pretty good. A lot of times, it's been really boring. The uh, content has been very, very small. So, you read through it in, like, five minutes or less. So, you know, I don't really... I want to I feel like I'm getting my money's worth when I spend freaking three, four bucks on a book. But... I ain't going to keep complaining because y'all know how the story is. I'm pretty sure many of you guys out there are complaining about the same thing. So, as I said always, as I said before, uh, I won't do another video. I won't do a video next week. I'll be back probably on the 1st. Uh, Christmas time coming up. I'm not going to just, I'm not going to really be taking time to sit here and do videos and stuff like that. Um, because it's family time and time with my wife. So... As always, keep God first in your life, enjoy your comic books, and God bless you guys. I'm out of here.